Hey, 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 Katie here. So I'm here in beautiful Jamaica and today the weather is not very nice, it's very windy, so I didn't want to go and do my life outside. So that's why we're in my uh, beautician room. So I hope you're having a nice day. Look at my eyes here. <laughs> uh, it's getting better, so I'm very happy with that. Um, and today I wanted to talk about um, the momentum. Because we're already two weeks in January and a lot of people already uh, gave up, you know, their resolution and, um, you know, they don't follow their momentum that we were supposed to do. They didn't uh, continue their goals. Everything they wanted to do for 2020, it's already in the back burner and they didn't do anything. So I wanted to make sure that you're still there doing your momentum. So I'm going to check this with me because I'm my glasses, I can't see a thing. Hi, Craig. Thank you for joining. Thank you, guys. So what you want to do is keep your momentum. And how you're going to do that, I'm going to give you five tips. Because if it's only the second week of January and you already push aside everything and you're not doing everything you are supposed to do, like going to the gym or trying to lose weight or starting something new, a new business, a hobby, something, if you already put uh, that on the side, uh, it means that you need maybe some help and I'm going to give you a few tips to keep this momentum on. So if... And I'm going to talk more about business because, as you know, I'm uh, doing some business. But what you want to do if you want to start a new business is you need to take it as a business, not as a hobby. And most of the people, they try to do a business, they want to do different things, but then they start doing it as a hobby and they never follow up, which means that they're getting distracted and that's why uh, they don't get success. So you need, if you want to start a new business, if you want to start a new project, Coucou Nadia, um, you need to absolutely do that as a business, okay? If you want to do it as a hobby, you'll be paid as a hobby. If you want to do it as a business, you're going to get some, um, you know, success and you're going to get better into your business. So you need to, to uh, a momentum to keep it, you need to achieve a momentum, a momentum, but also continuing, maintaining this momentum. Because if you start doing something for two weeks, or three weeks and then all of a sudden you stop uh, you're not going to maintain and the same thing with uh, doing something online if you start building your business your audience is going to start seeing yourself seeing your maybe whatever it is that you're bringing uh, to the world and then after two weeks you stop you're not going to be taken uh, you know um, seriously and that's why your business is not going to thrive. And that's why you really need to put yourself out there every single day. So that's what I said. If you want to do a hobby, it's fine. If you want to make it a business, you need to uh, put consistency into that, right? So to uh, improve uh, all the time and having this momentum, so you need to take time. You need to time to plan. plan. You need some resources. So you need some tools, so I'll explain that to you after what we have. You need the drive. Why are you doing that? Why do you want to change something in your life? Why is it that you want to start this new business? You need, it. You need a drive. You need persistence, what I said. You need to make sure you're there every single day and determination. Okay, so that is very important. So you will get more motivated and because you're going to start seeing, um, you know, um, results, you're going to be more motivated but if you post for example something once a week on facebook and uh, you think that someone is going to come to you and you know send you a message oh, i want to buy your stuff it's not going to happen right so if you don't have this momentum of always every single day do something you're not going to get results you're not going to be motivated to follow but if you get uh, people interested to in your business, you're going to keep this motivation. So that's very important to that, do that. So you need to get into a routine and try to do a little bit every day and push yourself every day. Try to do something new. Or maybe if you prospect five people, try to prospect, whoop, the line. Try to prospect the next day six people. Okay, so try to do every single day something different and something uh, a little um, bit more. Same thing for maybe a blog. At the start, you're going to start maybe blogging. If you want to blog, I don't say you have to, but if you want to blog, do a blog. It might take you two, three, four hours to do one blog, but at 
reassure you after a while you get to do it much faster because it's just a start you have to learn you're going to make mistakes like for me English is not my first language so sometimes I have to you know check the synonyms and translation and stuff like that because for me it was taking a lot of more time to do that that's why now I give my daughter the web the blog to do <laughs> I give them sometimes a video and I said to a blog around that and then she has a better English than me. <laughs> thank you. Hi, Tara. Thank you for joining, sweetheart. Hi, Patricia. Coucou, Ben. Coucou, what's that? Um, thank you, guys, for watching this video. So uh, don't overcomplicate things. And it's what I always say. A lot of people, when they start something new, they overcomplicate everything. We have tools, especially in our company. We're blessed with that. We have all the tools available to us. We have videos done for us, we don't need to do videos. So that's why it's very important that you use the tools you have. Don't overcomplicate things. You don't need to, to try to do everything, to be on Instagram, to be on Facebook, to be on Twitter, to be everywhere doing everything. No, you don't need to do that. Okay, start with one platform, start with one thing at a time. And hi, Joanna, sweetheart, a while, how are you? So you need to really uh, use the tools you have, especially if you have a company that gives you everything, you don't need to overcomplicate things. And that's why a lot of people don't get success because they get overwhelmed already preparing videos, preparing blogs before they even start doing anything and get uh, people on board. So very important to not overcomplicate things. Uh, I'm going down here. I'm watching. I'm going down. I'm watching the, my book here. That's why to make sure I don't forget anything. Um, so what you need to do also is um, something that might work. So that's why something that might work for people. So don't. Um, how can I say that? Don't try to copy people. Um, find someone that you resonate with. Try to find maybe a leader, someone that you are really happy to work with or you would love to be like this person. And try to do the same thing. Don't copy everything they are doing. Obviously, you need to make it your own. But try to find someone that you admire, that you would love to, uh, you know, that you resonate with and do something because like they do, okay? Sometimes you have your sponsors, your leaders are trying to tell you to do what they, works for them, but it not, might not work for you. And that is very important that you make it your own. Hi, Gladys. Hi, Michaela. How are you? Hi, Garrett. I hope I said it right. Hi, Sean. Thank you for joining, guys. Hi, Said. So you need to make sure you make it your own and don't follow because i know i have some leaders and even my sponsor sometimes says something and i don't resonate with that i ask question i always ask question and why she would do the same this way and i was taught to do other and that is what works for me what we can do but if it's something that i like to do i do it my own way okay so find something that resonates with you find your leaders that resonate with you and follow what they are doing don't overcomplicate. again you have everything that you can even um you know take their videos like everybody knows i really love rehindon's videos what i do i share his videos on my page and I don't get paid for that, but I'm helping you guys because it's how I did my business. And that's why it's very important that you do that. Also, you can share what your leaders do. So this way you're going to uh, bring value. And that's how people are going to say, uh, you know, they don't want to work with you because I resonate with you. So that's very important. Um, so what you need to do um, for that, you need to make sure that you have to keep your, moment, keep your momentum going on. You need to do your SMART goals. So SMART, it's uh, specific, measurable, A is attainable, time-based, and um, relevant. SMART, I said it on the wrong way. So why? The SMART goals is very important that you do that. So you put SMART, boop, 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 S-M-A-R-T. Goals you want, the specific goals that you want to achieve. What is, the, what is it that you want to achieve? Try to do that for 90 days, like a 90 days bliss. So for that, to keep this momentum going, tell your family that you're going to be busy for 90 days and you want to really start this business well. So try to do that and explain to your family that you might not go out every weekend and being, you know, always free to go for lunches with your friends and all of that. So try to do that for 90 days, but do your SMART goals. So SMART, as I said, specific, what are your goals? What do you want to achieve during that 90 days? 
okay? After 30 days, maybe what is it that you want to do? Maybe a few blogs, a few videos, uh, how many prospects, all this kind of thing that your goals you want to do, how many people you want on board, all this thing that you need to, uh, to work and plan. So that is the first thing specific goals that you want to achieve and put a date it's always great to put a date because it will remind you and say why oh, did not do that this week i didn't do that and it will push you also hi scarlett how are you i clad and thank you for joining today so measurable measurable so sm smart okay measurable so you want to make sure that your goals you're not going to say you're going to be 100k into your company after three three months impossible okay so you need to make sure that there are progress that can be measured that you can see for example you do a video you're going to do a live like i do then you're going to have uh, comments you're going to have likes log whatever it is these people are prospect you can prospect them you can go and ask them what they liked about your business of course you're going to have your friends and people that you know and they know you and they know what you're doing but you might have new people and that's how you're going to check the new prospects that you're going to get into your business and you need to contact them because i see too many people doing even posts um, and they never comment back what the point of posting if you don't comment back or doing live if you don't comment back to the people they are here they are put, putting their time to uh, to comment to watch your video and if you don't take time to comment back or to say hey, even hello it, they are not going to take that time again because as you know time is very important especially when you're an entrepreneur and when you have little time and when you have family you're trying to juggle a lot of different things so you need to take you know people's time also in consideration so always always comment back please that's too many people don't do that or they just like and please come on you have time to comment back so that was the uh, measurable attainable as I said again, you are not going to say to your company that you're going to be 100K in three, week, in three months. So you need to have attainable, goal, attainable goals that are aligned to yourself also. Possible to achieve, your goals have to be possible to achieve. So if you decide to uh, start after 30 days, how many people, how many prospects, how many love, how many blogs, da, 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 and do that for three months, for the 90 days. Plan everything, okay? Um, Yes, I, 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 absolutely, Michaela. Make it short and long-term goals, very important. And always, it's what I always do, and that's what I always say with, uh, with Raining Dawn, said on Friday, we celebrate our wins, even if we didn't get anybody on board. But at least you show up every single day. You did a, bl a blog, or you did a video, or you did a post every single day. You showed up onto your audience, and that is very important, even if you didn't get anybody on board. Okay, that's very important. Patricia loves this. Uh, smart goals, Amy. Thank you, Amy, sweetheart. And um, so, exactly, Scarlett, break down every go every day something that you want to do. And I showed you many times. I have, I know everything. I have my routine. And I don't know. And I'm a Sagittarius. So, people say that Sagittarius are not that, you know. But I do. I like to have my routine. I really, really love having my routine to make sure that I, I have everything done every day. So, that is very, very important for me. So, I write everything, have a copy. As I said, I write everything. I watch everything I'm sharing with you guys is a video or something I read or something I learned and I'm teaching you that. And Rain Dawn is also always saying ILT, invest, learn and teach. And that's how you're going to get people to trust you because you're bringing them value. Hi Ben, thank you for watching. Thank you, Sean, I appreciate that. Uh, so that's why it's very important that you do that. You are learning, but you are sharing your value. So I was at R, smart. We are on the smart course, <laughs> stay with me. R is relevant. Relevant with your vision. And that's why I always say um, it's very important to, um, to be aligned with what you're doing. And don't force yourself. If it's something that you don't, or you're not aligned with, that you don't like the product, or there is something that is not working for you, don't push yourself because people are going to see that it's not something that you like doing. So always work with passion, that's what I always do. If it's something that you don't like, and I always say even some product in my company, I say it, I don't use it because 
they, are, they don't like them. I don't say they're not good, but they, I don't personally like them. So be true to yourself and be true to your audience. If it's something that you don't like, don't say that you like it for the sake of selling them. And then you're going to, you know, if they ask you questions, you're, you're not going to be able to answer them. So that is very important that you are very authentic and you're not lying to your audience. So everything, every time I say everything, like I did my video about my spray, I told you everything. I'm not using, for example, the sleep spray because I don't need it with my oil but some people rave over them but personally I never try them maybe I should but I never try them so I am authentic I tell people what I do so that is very important to uh, to be true to yourself true to your audience and not lie to them because um, I mean it's a very small world and if you start lying if you start start saying stories and it's like people showing pictures of their car and it's not even their car for god's sake just be true to yourself even if you start a business don't th tell everybody that you're rich and you have this and you have that just say look i'm trying this business i'd love to do business with you i'm just starting we can you know be uh, you know together and start a business together but don't start saying that you're making millions if you don't okay patricia i'm absolutely always be honest then it's a great progress process ILT absolutely um, always learn always invest in yourself try different things see what works for you and bring value to audience very important so we were on T time based period of time that's as I said 30 days every single day what you want to achieve every week every month for 90 days do this 90 days blitz. I guarantee you, if you put yourself for 90 days out there, you're going to see results. You, are, you have to. I mean, there is no way that people are not going to see you if you put yourself out there every day. Look at even me. If you follow me for many years, at the start, I had maybe two comments. I didn't have anybody following me. And now I get more and more people because I engage also. I put myself out there. I help people and engage on there. And that's what I said earlier. When people comment onto your, um, onto your post, onto your live, comment back and go to their profile because I like to, to have also some uh, engagement on their profile. So that's very important that you give back. If you give back, you'll receive more. Okay, it's harder to keep track on your lies than to just tell the truth. Absolutely, absolutely. I, I, I can't lie. Everybody will see that if I'm lying. So I get red and I get, ooh. no, I can't lie. So everybody knows. But it's just what I said. There are products that I don't really use. I say it, and there are products I love, and I'm always talking about them. But if you start telling lies, you're guarantee you you're going to have trouble in the long term in the long term you're going to have trouble so um you have to give to receive and be consistent something i need to improve <laughs> yeah but you have some family situation also Ben. so i understand sometimes and sometimes not it's not easy because you have to juggle with the family with you know what's going on uh, but if you can try your best and that's why i did this group uh, for our a community of facebook lives and we have 319 now people doing Facebook lives. And I said, we'll, we'll start with 30 days. And if it continue, we don't need to do 30 days in a row, but at least people get engagement to other people. They can see what other people are doing. And it's helping the community. It doesn't give me anything because everybody's already affiliated with the company. They are all in, they're not even my team per se. They are everywhere because success team, we have what, 15,000 affiliates at this point. So they are not on my team, but it's nice to help others. And it's nice to see people saying, Kathy, thank you. It's the first time I press this button of the live. And I'm telling you, when I started doing live, I was shaking. I was all red. I was panicking. And I was saying sometimes two hours looking at this button and saying, Will I press it or won't I press it? And I was wasting my time. And I was frustrated and I was like, Jesus, two, two hours that I'm spending now trying to, to press this button live and I didn't do it. But at the end, I started doing it more and more and more and more often and now I don't mind doing videos. So it's what you need to do. Making progress is making it a habit. And when you, are, you have some habits and when you get used to it, even like yesterday, my dogs were barking like lunatics. 
So it doesn't matter. People get to know you and they want to see you as a true person. They don't want to see you like a robot that is behind, you know, your computer. You are a human being. So stuff happens. Sometimes my, <laughs> my internet doesn't work and I say bad words. People hear me. Well, I am human and I share who I am. So everybody that is in my team, everybody that, um, you know, like me, they know how I am. I'm not trying to hide anything. And that is very important. Hi, Parik. Hi, Bridges. Thank you for joining, sweetheart. So uh, use tools, and that's very important when you want to keep momentum. So I don't know which tips am I on, but you use the tools you have. Your company is giving tools. We have a lot of good marketing tools. Isn't it, Ben? I think Patricia is in the team too. So we have amazing, amazing tools. Use it. Use the videos. You don't need to chat for hours uh, trying to convince. First, you don't convince. But if you have people on board that want to, to try your business and they don't know, just give them the, 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 the video and they see everything. They see from the product, who the people, um, who are our CEOs, where it's coming from the, the company, the complaint, everything is done for us. You don't need to, you know, reinvent the wheel. You can give everything to them and that's how you're going to and not wasting too much time, you know, trying to talk to people. Once they are serious, then you can spend time with them. But when you don't know, and that's why I was doing at the start, um, because I didn't know and I was trying to have everybody on a call, trying to have everybody, you know, spending time trying to explain everything and they were asking me questions. And I realized in these videos of 10 minutes, 15 minutes, everything is in there. So it's better for them to watch the video and it said it properly than you trying to type everything or doing the voice, oh, the light, the voice um, on, on Messenger and trying to explain everything. So use the tools you have and that is very important. That's how you're going to create momentum and duplication also, which is very important when you start a business. You need to balance your life and that is something, um, okay, for the 90 days if you want to do a blitz, do that for 90 days, but don't do that for the full year because you're going to burn out. You're going to be so tired. Your family is not going to talk to you anymore. So you need to make sure that you have a life, you balance your life. And that's why it's important to take some break. Uh, even during the day, you can have your blitz. You can be so laser focused, but you need to take some break during the day. So make sure you do uh, take some breaks, have a coffee or go for a walk with your dog or whatever it is, but you need to have a break also. And that is very important to have a balance. You don't want to burn out because after um, you're going to, you know, if for a few weeks you don't not on um, Facebook, you're not going to lose your audience because as I said, again, you need consistency all the time to make sure that every day, every day you show up. Um, stay focused when you decide to work, let go of the distraction and that is something very important when you start doing and that's what i said i said when i plan for example i plan doing my blog and especially at the start because i was spending a lot of time doing my blog i was saying okay i'm going to spend one hour i was putting a timer after the hours blog done or not i stopped and i was going back the next day because you don't want to spend too much time doing one thing and then you're going to avoid doing other things and talking about avoiding do the stuff you don't like first in the morning um i don't like prospecting oh that is something i, I wish you know people would come to me just like that <laughs> i wish but i don't like prospecting and uh, but that's what i do first thing in the morning because I know if I don't do it, I find a way. I go on my Instagram and I go and do a blog and I do the video and I listen to training and then it's late and I said, ah, I have to cook dinner and I'm not going to prospect. So do the thing you hate the most into your business first thing in the morning so it's done and over with, okay? So if you have a number of, um, a number of people they want to prospect every day, just do that number and gone. Okay, then after during the day, this way they can also, you know, they have time to respond you back and that's how you're going to build relationship and that's how you're going to um, make a relation and talk maybe. But don't spend and um, don't send any links or don't send anything. When I say prospect, go to your group. So that I did, for example, I'm in a candle group, right? Because I, I do candles, as you know, offline, that is my thing, that soon you're going to see it online. I started it actually because someone is selling it for me. So my Instagram, she was sharing uh, her the candles she has in her shop. But um, 
what you can do, thing that you have on, you know, that you like to do a hobby or something, even if you love animals, you can go in group of animals. And then you are going to see people that you share the same passion. When you're going to see people sharing the same passion, that's how you're going to have uh, something to talk about. Then you're going to build relationship as a human being, not sending your link as saying how they are, what they do, how long they do, for example, they, or how old is their dogs. Try to make conversation. And then if you see that they might need your product, then you can ask if they are, would be interested to see what you're doing. If not, that's fine, no big deal, just move on. But if they say yes, that's how you can ask them again if it's okay to send your link or if it's okay for them to give you your, um, their email address so you can plug them to your uh, marketing system. But don't do that straight, build relationship first, and they might not like what you're doing and they might not even respond for what you're doing. So don't insist and don't, so I always say, don't convince people. People will come to you when you'll be ready, when you'll be in your vibration, when you'll be um, I say, in alignment with what you're doing. People that are not coming to your business because they're not meant to be, okay? Planners work great for me working at your, I write out what I want to do on evenings. I'm not busy weekends. Keeps me on track. Very good. Planners is very good and very important. And if, for example, you're working during the week, it's what I was doing with my kids. When I, no, it's fine. My kids are big and I don't have that. But when I was busy with the kids bringing them to school in the morning and I wanted to post as early as I could the first post, I didn't want to which come back at 9 p m at 9 a.m. So what I was doing, I was on Sunday, I was preparing everything. All my posts, um, maybe the pictures, you know, because I, I put a lot of pictures and I put, you know, a quote and I do little things. So that takes time. Now, I recycle a lot now because I did that for the last four years. So I do recycle a lot of my posts also. But when I do them and I went, for example, on Sunday, if we don't go out or there is nothing that we do in, with the family. I start preparing them. So this way I just have to copy and paste and put them that day. So that's why it's very important to plan your days and your weeks. And if you work during the week, you don't have time, but you know you have to put at least one post, prepare it during the weekend and then copy and paste and put it that day. Okay, so it's very important to be organized. Very important. What I liked and it's, who said that? I don't remember. Lisa, I don't remember. She said, time waits for no one. That's why it's very important to use your time wisely. Time waits for no one, okay? So if you are losing time, wasting time, watching stupidity on computer, being distracted by a video that you're watching, of, it's time that this time is gone. During that time, you could have done something for your business. So if you're on laser focus, you have to leave that distraction on the side because you cannot take back this time that you spent. Same thing if you decide to uh, maybe go out one evening, just don't stay until three or four o'clock in the morning knowing the next day you'll be in bed all day. You can go out, you can have fun, but then come back in time, you know, that works for you so the next day you're not like a zombie, okay? So that's very important when you start doing your business and you want to keep your momentum going. Now, I don't say that to do that all year long, but when you start to see the wind, tell you the doors are flying in the house. So it's very important that you do that, that you make sure that you, you decide, and that's why it's already two weeks, and I see a lot of people already, whoop, the resolution of the New Year's is gone already. Try, get back on track, get back on track, okay? Just make sure you do that. And the 90 days bliss, I find it very good because for 90 days then after you get into your momentum, it's very good to push your, uh, your business. Um, and I think that's all uh, difference between success people and unsuccess people is what do they do with their time? Oh, you see, the difference between success people and unsuccessful people, successful people and unsuccessful people is what do they do with their own time? Do they spend time on Instagram or do they spend time learning, uh, bringing value and then, uh, then showing you, teaching people and their audience. That's what we should do when you want to build your, your business. 
Um, yeah, that is a point I said it already. You should always, and that's it, you should always reward yourself. No matter what you do every week, try to find a way. Like tonight I'm going out, so I'm very happy. Last night I was out already. <laughs> I'm going to put some pictures tomorrow though for my night out. This was nice. But I always go and try to get some fun time also. You don't want to be like so... But as I said, don't stay until three o'clock in the morning so the next day you cannot uh, focus. So that is very important to have a balance, to enjoy yourself. For example, after the 90 days, if you decide to go with this business and you have such great results, go maybe for a weekend out with your spouse. Just say, look, for 90 days, I know I was so focused. I didn't take care of yourself and then take care of the kids. We can go out and we can do something nice um, during that weekend. And that will make up for all your time that you spend trying to build your business. I know it's not easy and um, it's not, it's not, um, it's not easy and it's time consuming and you don't see the reward straight away. But when you start getting rewards going to, I mean, it's so, I really love when people are saying, oh, Kathy, you have no idea how much your product helps me and now I can do this and now I can play with my grandkids and before I couldn't move or I can sleep now. And then my good friend who couldn't sleep and I was so worried with her and I said, try that. And she didn't want to try that. She said, I know nothing works. I um, insomnia for so many years. The world. For Christmas last year, I gave her one bottle. I said, you know what? That is one bottle for you. Use it and you'll see. And since she's taking it and she's so happy. So that are the thing that makes me happy. And um, when you see people as well getting more uh, financial freedom because they get some money on the side, a woman like me, and that's why I want to impact so more many, many people like me, like moms, that we always took care of our kids. I mean, I have four children. They're all gone nearly from their house. And I was never myself, I could never find myself in the house because I was always struggling with everybody, trying to please everybody, cooking, bringing kids to school. Um, my husband had his own business, so I was doing the bookkeeping for him and I was doing this, but I was ne never really doing anything for me that pleased me and that's why doing what I'm doing now. I love that. I'm making candles because I love what I'm doing. Uh, I'm doing Reiki, as you know. So my candles are Reiki infused and I help many people also. And that really... It might be selfish because I'm very happy with that, but also it helps people, all right? So thank you guys, I really appreciate. If you're here, most of you are already with my company that I can see, but if you're not and you, want, you wonder what I'm doing online, just get back to me and I'd be very happy to show you what we have. We have an amazing, amazing marketing system. You don't have to spend hours and hours and hours. If you... I mean, if you plan everything and you don't waste time, guaranteeing you even one hour a day is enough to start building a business. Of course, if you spend an hour every day versus someone that has six hours, you're not going to see the same result at the end. But then it's just a start. And then when you see going more into momentum, you'll be able to really improve and then go faster to do everything you want to achieve. All right. So thank you, guys. I really appreciate you. Um, God bless. Have fun tonight. Yes, it's... Um, we're going to go to a game night. So I don't know what it's going to be. I saw kind of a game. I don't even know what it was, but we'll have fun, a few drinks, and we'll be fine. Pizza, few drinks, game, good friends, and that's what it is all about. You know, life is so short. We don't know what's going to happen. I mean, the world is getting crazy everywhere, and we have to enjoy every minute, and that is what I'm doing now. So. Even if I have people like yesterday, I had someone after my video who should have seen what I got. I just blocked these people. I'm not going to even consider going to these people and, uh, you know, making my mood, uh, you know, low or down because of them. They don't like what I'm doing. Well, they can remove themselves from my time, um, my, uh, my timeline. I don't care. So I don't, and that is very important. Enjoy what you're doing. If you trust what you're doing, if you trust your business, your company, your products, everything you're doing, you're in alignment and your vibration is high, just continue doing what you're doing. But if you have people around you that um, are not respectful, and that is what um, I don't like. A lot of people don't respect other people. If they are not respectful, just remove them from your life. They, you don't need that. All right, guys. 
So thank you. Really appreciate you. And I'll see you tomorrow night on my next video. Bye-bye.